Excuse me. Hi.
Excuse me. Hmm. 
day. Hmm. Suspicious. Wait a sec.
えーと Stay down. What a waste.
glad one of us is earning this pay. How are those docks from Ayabe looking? Not bad. How things go at the casino? I want a mill or so. A mill? I'd have kept going, but that seemed like a good round number. Oh, good. Guess I don't need to pay you this month. Hey, I ain't a charity. Anyway, anything good in there? Not yet. Cops only got as far as arresting Humra. Well, according to this, that was the only lead they had. They're as stumped as we are. Huh. No wonder Ayabe was practically giving that shit away. There is something in here about the second murder, though. Apparently, they had been tracking the victim, Kunimura, right up until his death. I take it that's Kunimura? Yeah. Two hours before his death, he was seen leaving a brothel called Konban Wife. Kind of place where the girls pretend they're married. Sounds like he was there for a Kanai-chan. <laughs> At least the guy had some fun before he went out. Hell, that's how I want to go. I'm gonna go talk to this Kanai-chan. See if she knows anything about Kunimura. With any luck, I might even get a lead on the mole. Come on, man. Leave the sexy shit to me. You're too young to handle a married woman anyway. <laughs> you do realize I'm just gonna talk to her, right? You're seriously not letting me take point on this one? What if I tell mafuyu chan Go ahead. No skin off my back. guys. Welcome, sir. Any requests tonight? Oh. Yuna-chan, Marin-chan, and Kanai-chan are all free tonight. Here's their pictures. It's a thousand extra to make specific requests. So I don't have to pick any of them. I see. Is this your first time here, sir? Why don't we start by picking a duration? Duration? And any options you'd like. Uh, options? Right. Uh, let's start at the top, huh? For durations, we have 35 minutes for 9,000 yen, 50 minutes for 13,000 yen, or 65 minutes for 17,000 yen. Let's do 65 minutes. Oh, that's quite an honor, sir. Your sincere enthusiasm warms my heart, honest. You know what? You can have any girl you want. No request charge. Wow, really? And here, this is a little bonus. The service here isn't half bad. Did you have a specific girl in mind? At the moment, we have Yuna-chan, Marin-chan, and Kanai-chan. I'll go with Yuna-chan. Oh, a fine choice, sir. Something wrong, sir? 
You wanted Unichan, yes? Actually, uh... Hmm? Change your mind, sir? Right. So we currently have Unichan, Marin-chan, and Kanai-chan. Who would you like to see? I'll go with... A fine choice, sir. Something wrong, sir? Actually, uh... Hmm? Right. So we could... I'll go with... A fine choice. Something wrong. Actually, uh... Hmm? Right. So we current... Uh, I'll go... Oh, a fine... Something wrong. Yep. Unichan it is. Great. Next, you can pick any options you'd like to add. There's quite a few. You can discuss those directly with the girl. What kind of options are we talking? Oh, all kinds. Although not every girl is open to everything, you know. Lucky for you, Yunichan isn't picky. Well then, let me show you to your room. Of tastes. Sort of out of your price range, huh? Why are you even here? What's going on? Maybe I should be asking you the same question, yeah? <laughs> Not that I need to. Why are you still looking into the Curie murders, Tuck? Keep your eyes to yourself, lest you want to lose them. Are we clear? You don't get to decide what I do. Don't go digging up dirt. Shintani went through a lot of work making those charges go away. <laughs> you want to keep playing detective? You ought to work out more. Well, I... got jumped earlier. By four assholes wearing ski masks. Yeah? And why should I care? Well, I think... Maybe you had something to do with it. I'm pretty sure that's the four of them right there. <laughs> I think you must have my boys confused. Right, Kengo? Yeah. No one likes a fucking liar! Oh! <laughs> Kanai-chan quit, packed her bags, and went back home. So stop looking for her. Why? I'm gonna let you off with a yellow card this time. <laughs> but only because the boss likes you so much. Yagami. You got a sec? Sure. You okay? You don't sound too good. I could use a hand with uh, the family captain. I'd really appreciate it if you could get him off my case. I see. Well, uh, I'm just killing time at the office right now. Why don't you come on by? We'll talk. Sounds good.
take a seat. Forgive me if this is rude, but I'll cut right to the chase, my boy. Hmm? I don't know what's going on between you and Hamura, but there's nothing I can do to help. What do you mean? You're not even going to hear my side of the story? You'd just be wasting your time. Hamura's been bankrolling the family for a while now. I get by on the scraps he leaves me. I'm... I'm just a figurehead. But... The clan will do the things I ask of them, yes. But if they had to choose between my orders and Hamura's, who knows? Maybe they would choose not to hear me. How long has it been like this? Years. The prime of my career was... Well, it ended back when I was raising you. Matsugane-san. If only Kaito was still in the family, maybe things wouldn't have turned out like this. We're not done here. Actually, we are. I have a message from Captain Hamura. Yagami-san. He says to go see him right away. He's waiting for you at Cafe Alps. He wants to talk. Fine. I'll head over when I feel like it. Don't piss him off, Yagami-san. Unless you want to lose your eyes, too. Welcome, sir. Please, take a seat wherever you'd like.
I didn't think you'd try to pull that. Running off and telling an adult. Like a fucking child. Oh, I just thought that the guy who actually runs the show would want to be able to keep tabs on his captain. He doesn't need to. So you keep your goddamn nose out of this shit. Understand? Or do I need to spell it out? Yeah. I'm hearing you loud and clear. So... I guess we're done here. We're not done until I say so. don't really work on you, do they, Tark? Well, I guess you always have been a fighter. None of us thought you'd last a day in law school. But you sure showed us. Went to night classes, passed the bar. You say you're done, but a guy with balls like you doesn't give up. You fought for your lawyer's badge, but trash with a badge is still trash. And it's about time to take you out. Ozaki! Ready to die? Huh? Oh, enough of this. You're dead! <sighs> this is some bullshit. You already went. Huh? It's only fair I take my turn.
heart. Yes, sir! If you're gonna shoot me, you better do it yourself. Wait. How about the eyes? One bullet in each. Man the fuck up, Kengo! <laughs> Who the hell? No way. We gotta go. This way! Get them both! Let's go! You don't give up, do you? Let me borrow this real quick. Oh. Give up, do you? They finally give up? Not yet. with it. Just who are you? I'd appreciate it. Thank you first. Why should I? After what you did to me this afternoon? I gave your phone back, didn't I? Then why even take it? What was the point of it? I was trying to get away from a cop. The asshole just wouldn't get off my case. But when I saw you on the phone, I had the greatest idea. Okay, go on. Well, I 
guess the first step was taking your phone. I knew you'd end up following me after that. Then, seeing you and me running in the same direction, the cop would think you were my buddy. And while he took his sweet time arresting you, I was gonna escape. I have to say, never thought you'd actually get away from him too, though. Eh, guess all's well that ends well, yeah? And just now, why'd you come save me? Good question. Why did I do it? Eh, beats me. <laughs> Interesting stuff. <laughs> Let's just say I wanted to apologize for stealing your phone. Lucky break, huh? You'd have got your brains blown out if it wasn't for me. You're telling me? Guess I owe you. In which case? We're even now. Hey. Why are you so dead set on this burglary ring? There's gotta be something better. <laughs> what? If you're looking for work, maybe you could join us instead. <sighs> and have the Yakuza out for my head? <sighs> Fat chance. Those guys from before were Matsugane family. But, uh... The cure is also looking for me. <laughs> you sure know how to sell it. <laughs> but... I don't think we can trust each other just yet. Yagami-san? What'd you say? How do you know my name? <laughs> Matsugani family captain Kyohei Hamura is connected to the mole. Confirming his suspicions, Yagami's progress is impeded. The entire city is under Hamura's surveillance, and it went deeper than he knew. Alone and out of options, Yagami receives a little support. But the night is still young. Don't show your face again until you've got him. Search the whole fucking city if you have to. What, the kid in the mask? Find him too, dumbass! Ah! Yo, talk. 
Long time no see, Yagami. Higashi? Is that you? <laughs> Said he's here on Captain's orders. They've been looking for you. I know. Sounds like he really doesn't want our killer caught. You're not giving up, are you? With how much it's pissing Hammer off? I wouldn't dream of it. Keep your nose out of this, asshole. It's your fault I'm here cleaning this shit up. What? Something wrong? I thought you were all about being Hamura's lapdog. I'm willing to do a few tricks for the treats he hands out. And hell, he's a better leader than you were. Kaito Anaki. You've got no business calling me that now. I suppose not. Then take your thugs and go, Higashi. Fine. We can call it here for today. Looks like if I want to fight you, I'll have to be ready to kill you. Looking forward to it. We're done here. Come on. Remember what I told you. Yagami here is a ticking time bomb. Get rid of him if you want to survive. Damn, Higashi. You're finally looking like a real Yakuza these days. Whatever, asshole. Tom, think you can tail Higashi real quick? Huh? If I'm being honest, I've been worried about him ever since I left the clan. Yeah, he's changed a lot. I couldn't tell you what he's been through, but it's pretty clear he's had it rough. It's like you said, he's changed a lot. All right, I'm on it. Here, let me pay you. It's the least I can do. <laughs> you really think I want your money? Besides, how else am I gonna get more dirt on Hamra? Hello? It's Kaito. I have a read on Higashi. Just turn right down Nakamichi Street. Alone. Right on Nakamichi. Got it. Thanks again. What is it? Got it. I'll be right there.
Aniki! Help me out here! The fuck are you? Oh, shit. Get lost, pal. He's out of our league, man. Let's move. Thank you so much! Anytime. I'm so sorry. Kaito. Higashi went into an arcade on Park Boulevard. Ring any bells? An arcade? Yeah. Looks like it's called Charles. Oh, that. I used to manage the place. Guess the family has him running it now. A Yakuza arcade? Well, they have a casino in the back or something? Nah, we just used it for deals every so often. It's pretty much a regular shop. You know, for kids. Okay. I'll see what I can find. Hey, just a sec. What? It's, uh, pretty tight in there. You're gonna need to be covert if you don't want him spotting you. Right. I'll change real quick. Got it.
Um, the machine ate my coin. Pipe down, brat. Can't you see I'm busy here? Yeah, but... I said beat it, kid. <laughs> Sorry about that, kid. Here, go have some fun. Whoa, really? Thanks, mister. What do you think you're doing, huh? Off limits. I said stay out, asshole! Gosh, son, this guy's crazy. Yagami, you followed me, asshole. Wait, what the hell are you wearing? Let's not worry about that now. So, what do you want? Kaito-san's worried about you, you know. Oh yeah. As far as he can tell, you're nothing like you were in the old days. Why the fuck would I be? And who the fuck cares? This is how the Yakuza roll. Right. Except it's all a big act, isn't it? <laughs> huh? I saw you give that kid some cash, you big softy. 
Deep down, you're the same old Higashi. The one who used to look up to Kaito-san. You sure about that, asshole? Look, I don't want to fight you. I can turn and walk away if you want. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> same old story. How long has it been since we've seen each other? A year now? It was the day Kaito-san got expelled. You were... pretty upset by it. A thief going after Yakuza Cash. Couldn't imagine anyone's that dumb. But they did it. All under Kaito-san's watch. The family lost 100 mil that day. But there was nothing Kaito-san could do with a gun shoved in his face. think you're doing making sure there's some accountability around here boss as if that'll suddenly make things right how exactly does this get our money back well it won't but it's a start it's important to set an example a hundred mil huh sounds like that's one expensive finger talk why are you here? We were outside having a chat. The hell do you think you're doing? That pinky's big money. Thought I'd get a good long look before it's gone forever. Shut it! <laughs> Pretty pathetic, isn't it? But Hamura, the damage was a hundred million. You really think one pinky can cover that? Huh. There's gonna be a whole lot more coming his way. More than this? Uh, what more can you do? Good question. Kaido-san. You're out for good. There's no way. Kaito Anaki is... <sighs> Boss, you're okay with this? Begging him won't get you out of this. You see, boss? It's gotta be done. You know it's only fair. You should know. I already informed the main family of this. Did you know? You were awfully efficient about that. Thank you very much. <sighs> Atsugane san, you really gonna go through with this? It's done, Tak. Kaito's out. From this point forward? Are you sure about that? I'm certain. Good news, Kaito-san. You get to keep your pinky. Huh? You don't get to decide that! Yakuza cut off their fingers to show accountability for the things they do. A civilian like Kaito-san has no reason to do that. The fuck do you think you are? With all due respect, your own boss just said Kaito's not Yakuza anymore. Captain. Back off. I'll do what I've gotta. Kaito-san. This is how it's gonna have to be. I'm not afraid. I'm Yakuza, dammit! Wait! Kaito! You're not Matsugani family or Yakuza anymore. You hear? I don't need your pinky, so just go. It was fucked up. The boss brought you in to save Kaito Anaki. But it was too late. He was gonna get expelled no matter what. Even so, you gave him the best defense a man could ask for. Yeah. 
and Hamura's had his eye on me ever since. You know, you're doing pretty well for yourself, Higashi. Looks like you're moving up the ranks. I heard this used to be Kaito-san's arcade. Hell do you know! Hamura practically controls the Matsugani family now. With Kaito Anaki gone, Matsugani-san's command has slowly slipped away. This would have never happened if he'd stayed. Couldn't you have done something? You just sat and watched while he took control. Easy for you to say. I couldn't have done shit. Maybe not. By the way, whatever happened to the family's hundred mil? Huh? Did they ever get the money back? Or find the thief? <sighs> Fuck off. It's none of your business. True. Excuse me. Hmm. 
Yo, how'd it go? Fine. I ended up going in that arcade. Talked to Higashi. He caught you, huh? Nah, I just wanted to have a chat. Anything come of it? First off, Matsugane-san's completely lost control of Hamura. Apparently, Higashi has no choice now but to follow his captain's orders. Fucked up. When we talked, though, it felt like I was talking to the same old Higashi. Didn't look same old to me. You know a year ago, when you got expelled from the family? Uh-huh. It was because someone stole a hundred mil from the safe, right? Yeah, what about it? What ended up happening with that? Did you ever hear anything? Apparently, Higashi got it all back. At least, according to Ayabe. Higashi did? But how? 
Not a clue. I would have had to fork up another 200 grand for more info. I didn't have the cash, so I dropped it. Haven't brought it up since. Sounds like Ayabe has a lot to tell us. It'll cost you. Bet you can find him a tender around now. Kaito-san, how long's it been since you saw Higashi? Today was the first time since getting the boot. Hamura would have been all over him if we kept in touch. I didn't want to weigh him down, you know? Gotcha. I wonder what Hamura will do next. He'll be back here soon enough. It's just a matter of time. Wouldn't even be surprised if he tried to off us. <laughs> you think we pissed him off that much? Well, he doesn't want us catching the mole, that's for sure. Other than that, I think he just hates our guts. Damn. Even though we're the reason he's a free man? Guess we just can't catch a break. Heading to tender? Whatever info Ayabe's got is gonna cost you, you know. I hope I have enough then. I'll figure something out if not. Welcome back, Doc. So, rumor has it you've been serving drinks to a dirty cop? In my bar? I take offense to that. <laughs> Ayabe here yet? He said he's heading over. Before that, though, Doc, uh, I've got a little job I'd like you to handle, if you would. A job, huh? Only the best detective in Kamaroto can handle this case. Oh, yeah? Well, then how can I refuse? You're blushing. I mean it, though. Then clue me in. <laughs> Would if I could. I never actually asked. The client's a regular of mine, though, so you don't need to worry. Anyway, you'll need to head over to a place called Hill's Garden on Park Boulevard. Right now? Right now. And I'll let you know when Ayabe-san comes in. 
Come on, detective. It's not like you to turn down a paying job. Huh. You got me there. Ah.
Yeah. way Huh? <laughs> hmm? Ha <laughs> ha! 
Excuse me.
And stay down.
Ha? Ha? We're doing this. Let's 
Hello? It's Ayabe. Masuda told me to give you a ring. You need something? Yeah. Info I hear you got. You got the cash? I'm done handing out freebies. Oh, and the price will depend on what you want to know. Well, it just so happens you already told Kaito-san the price. Two hundred grand. Hmm? You know how all that money got stolen from the Matsugane? I want to know what happened to it. And what? I said it'd be two hundred K? That's what he told me. In that case, let's make it 100. Price drops with age. Oh, does it? Look, I'm not pulling the numbers out of my ass. I got calculations. System. Anyway, I'll drop by your place tomorrow. Have the cash ready. Choice. 